My aunt, my dear unmarried aunt, Long years have o'er her flown, Yet still she strains the aching clasp That binds her virgin zone. I know it hurts her, Though she looks as cheerful as she can, Her waist is ampler than her life, For life is but a span. My aunt, my poor deluded aunt, Her hair is almost grey, why will she train that winter curl in such a spring-like way? How can she lay her glasses down and say she reads as well, when through a double convex lens she just makes out to spell? Her father, grandpapa, forgive this erring lip it smiles, vowed she would make the finest girl within a hundred miles. He sent her to a stylish school, t'was in her thirteenth June, and with her, as the rules required, two towels and a spoon. They braced my aunt against a board, to make her straight and tall. They laced her up, they starved her down, to make her light and small. They pinched her feet, they singed her hair, they screwed it up with pins. Oh, never mortal suffered more in penance for her sins. So when my precious aunt was done, my grandsire brought her back, by daylight lest some rabid youth might follow on the track. Ah, said my grandsire, as he took some powder in his pan, what could this lovely creature do against a desperate man? Alas, nor chariot, nor barouche, nor bandit cavalcade, tore from the trembling father's arms his all-accomplished maid. For her how happy had it been, and heaven had spared to me, to see one sad, ungathered rose on my ancestral tree.